I'm so excited to have you here. What's up, Jay? What's How going on? Such a pleasure to be here. It is so like, awesome to have you here. I got so many questions for you, because okay. you know I'm a basketball mom, right? Yes. And yes. then sometimes I think I yeah. should be on the team, <laughs> too. Well, all basketball moms think they should be on Do the team. Do we? Is that what it is? <laughs> yes. Why is that? Um, <laughs> because it's your kid out there. Yes. Like, that's a part of you out there. Okay, so you <laughs> played in the a NBA for 18 seasons? Yes. So long time. That is amazing. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, yeah, that, that was a long time ago right there, for sure. I had <laughs> hair. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was a blessing. Like, I, I grew up in Little Rock um, in my wildest dreams. Yeah. I, I could not have imagined what my actual life experience has been. I grew up loving the Lakers, Magic Johnson, my all-time favorite player. Uh -huh. The Lakers, my all-time favorite team. So there was nothing about watching them in the 80s that made me feel like I was going to be one of those. So you didn't even see it coming? I did not. Um, what is your favorite memory from playing with Kobe and Shaq? Shaq is hilarious. He is. So in practice, here in L.A., mm -hmm. we're, everybody's late everywhere, uh -huh. typically because it's L.A. traffic. Right. So there were days where Shaq would come in to practice a few minutes late, mm -hmm. and we always had a meeting at the beginning of practice. So if Shaq comes in late, like, it's obvious to everybody. You're right. Plus, he's Shaq, so it's obvious. You, he can't be missed. Can't be missed. Right. So there were days where he would literally walk in and say, uh, uh, so, sorry, 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 <laughs> Phil, I, I, was, I was late because, uh, it was an accident on the four or five. It was a, it was a, it was a chicken truck for the chickens, <laughs> and uh, it was an accident, and there was chickens all over the four or five. And I, I couldn't get around it, so that's why I was late. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but, no, seriously. Uh, so that was Shaq for us, even though he was super dominant on the court. He always helped us to laugh and not take ourselves so seriously. On the other that's hand, right, it. Kobe was a funny guy, but he was the guy that always brought us back to that super yep. seriousness. We right? miss him greatly. Yeah, like he had that, that laser focus mm -hmm. about his everyday approach. That's probably the most impactful moment of, in terms of our playing career, because we had spent some years apart right mm -hmm. before this photo. So I played for the Lakers for eight years, and then we were apart for three years. And then I rejoined the Lakers in 2007, 2008. We lost in the finals in 08. Mm -hmm. And then we won the championship in 2009, that photo. That picture reminds me of, like, how it's still possible to get back to something yes. that's really special and meaningful to you. So, um, yeah, but, yeah, Kobe. That's what inspires <laughs> me in basketball. Now, what I want to ask you is, what would you say is the key to last 18 years Ooh. in basketball, you know? Whether you get to play in the NBA or WNBA, or whatever the highest level is. Like, there won't be many young ladies that get to where you are mm. and have their own show. But that doesn't mean you're not important. Right. And I think that's why, thankfully, I was able to last as long as I did because I never felt entitled to it. I just always wanted to work for it. Wow. So this new job of yours, you're head coach for, for high school, huh? Yes. Coach is this what you instill in the kids? Trying to. Yeah? <laughs> Trying to. Tell me more about that, this new job of yours. Yeah, so Crespi High School um, is here in the L.A. area in Encino. And it happened literally two weeks before school started. It wasn't a plan. It wasn't something that I sought out to do originally. Um, the coach at the school stepped down. It was God's timing, the mm -hmm. way it all kind of worked mm -hmm. out. We have two boys that were entering high school as freshmen one son that is a senior in high school. Oh. So this was also gonna be the one opportunity that they had in high school to play basketball together. Nice. Uh, so it all kind of came together. So I'm, I am trying my best to offer some of the things I just shared, yeah. but also that balance between dad and coach, uh, where I'm not bringing the job home to the dinner table or to the ride home. And making sure they know, the boys know that I love them regardless of how many points they scored whether right. we won or lost this weekend's tournament, that doesn't change okay. whether, whether or not you need to clean your room. So far, it's working. It's only been a month. So it's we'll working. See. Only been a month. It's fresh. 
<laughs> oh my God. I don't know what to get to next. Okay, so tell me about your organization. Yes. Team so, Derek. So Team Derek Fisher is it's a girls club team organization. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the girls and women's basketball has always been of high priority. Mm -hmm. I've been a fan forever, supported the WNBA since it started, since its inception, coached in the WNBA. I, I love the women's game. Yes. So we started a girls program, um, club basketball team, and we just focus on empowering young girls here in LA to make sure through the game of basketball, right. through sport, teaching life skills, financial literacy, mm -hmm. fighting through adversity, mm -hmm. learning how to accept. Sometimes we fail, mm -hmm. but how do we respond? How do we bounce back to that? Um, so we've, we've built it over the last few years and the program is growing. A few of our girls have gotten scholarships to go to college to play basketball. Nice. So getting, the, yes. And these are, these are not, these are not, we didn't go out and find the elite Mm -hmm. quote unquote, elite high school girls basketball players or middle school girls basketball players. We accept all girls that are interested in joining our program. And we want to continue to do it. Like he, the high school is an all boys school. Mm -hmm. um, my commitment to girls basketball, women's basketball, women of color, women in business, women in entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, that will always be there. So that our club team program is, is a way to live that out on a daily basis. That is awesome, thank you. So much for being here. Will you come back and see us? And then you can teach my son some of these skills. <laughs> sure. We're gonna have to call you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.